little beetle staring at the eastern sky of ancient Egypt. Tell us, what does your eye see here? Your eye sees that the starry gods appear to rise in the east, moving in a clockwise direction. It appears as if Mun, the god of the sky, whose name means the enduring one, the stable one, is the one who is moving, and that we here on Geb, Father Earth, are the ones who are still and stationary. Tonight's lesson, little beetle, one that I've taught to all the young African gay shamans, is the lesson of the apparent and the actual movement of the starry vault. What you're seeing here is two things, but you need to have the two sacred eyes to see it, what we call the ujati, the abit and the akut eyes. One eye observes an event as it appears, even if that appearance is an optical illusion. It says how consciousness, how the observer observes an event is significant, does have power to the observer. The other eye says, despite how a thing appears to the senses, the mathematical understanding of the actual dynamics is also valid. You may not be able to see those dynamics, yet they are real. So we have here two realities a reality that is visually apparent but may not be mathematically accurate and one that is visually invisible but mathematically sound. When the young gay shaman understands this, each eye corresponds to a brain hemisphere. The right brain sees the apparent illusion and understands the impact that perspective of observation has upon the observer, and the other brain clocks the invisible mathematical harmonics at work in the situation. When he combines these two as one, makes the two brains androgynous and unified, in his arau, his third eye point, the pineal, in the center of his forehead, he then receives the truth of what he is observing. For example, what if I told you that actually our beloved Father Mun, the sky god, is the one not moving? Rather, it is we on earth, on Geb, who are the ones moving. Focus your eye, your gaze, on the movement of the sky as it appears, but now intend to see it as we, the earth, rotating in the opposite direction from the motion of the stars. So the sky seems to be moving in a clockwise direction, which means mathematically we on Geb the Earth are moving in a counterclockwise direction. Take a moment and just stare at the sky thinking that. You see? Your consciousness, your eyes beginning to sense the opposite movement of the sky to the earth. That is, the earth is moving counterclockwise and seeing different parts of the sky as it spins on itself. And the sky is being still. This is how the young African gay shaman understands all things and it is key in your life to keep one eye peeled for the apparent illusion and optical illusion of a situation, how it appears to the eye and the senses, and keep your other eye peeled to look for the actual factual reality of that situation. And once you combine those two, the apparent and the actual, in the 
crystal palace of your Arao third eye, you will then find truth and wisdom in every situation. May the apparent and the true motions of the night sky be a lesson to you. Look for what is apparently so and actually so. Review this lesson. Its message is deep and most beautiful to the soul. Duawend Hotepu.